Um, hi everyone, Maria here again, Executive Director of Adonis Fertility International, and I have um, a wonderful, wonderful Chief, uh, uh, chief of Department of Reproductology um, and uh, Fertility, uh, Dr. Natalia Vladikina, and uh, hello Natalia. And uh, we also have our Chief Patient Coordinator, Ivana Lesik, who is helping us translate and lead the conversation as well. Uh, hi, Ivana. Hi. Hi, to Hi. And today, I really would love to focus on maybe some cases, right? Um, less about success. We could talk about success, but I really would love to um, understand what kind of patients you are dealing with the most and maybe what are some um, also one-off cases that are some complicated cases. But let's start. What are some most common uh, patients that you see? Наиболее часто обращаются пациенты либо с очень сложной патологией, по которой они не могут умножать беременность. В частности, мы работали с пациентками с трансплантацией обморок, трансплантацией легких печени, почек. Это один, либо те, у кого отсутствует матка и сложно расположены яичники, и уж сложно брать яйцеклетки. И поэтому вот это такой один большой, большой круг пациентов, такая группа пациентов. Другая группа пациентов большая, можно сказать, это проблемы, пациенты с проблемами генетического характера, и тогда мы отрабатывали сложную диагностику в отношении предимплантационной диагностики, чтобы им дать им здоровье. Uh, the most common cases that we have in uh, our clinic, it is uh, a cases when patients come with uh, patients come to us with um, a big pathologies uh, of uh, um, pelvic organs. For example, it can be uh, some pathology when women are born without an uterus or uh, with some genetic problems when their pelvic organs are uh, located in the place. Uh, heavy, uh, complicated to be, uh, to pick up the ovaries, for example, to pick up the eggs. Uh, also, uh, we have some complicated, we had uh, many complicated cases with uh, patients after transplantation of organs, uh, kidneys, liver, and uh, lungs. Uh, it is a big amount of patients who um, come to us to have uh, the proper high quality fertility treatment. And uh, the next part of a big uh, number of patients is the patients with uh, some genetic pathologies. Uh, for them, we provide some big complex of fertility treatment and we provide a pre-implantation diagnostic to avoid uh, genetic pathology for the future child. And the main aim is for them to get a healthy baby. Mm, I love it. Love it that you're saying it's not just the baby, but you also um, really pay attention to making sure that the baby is healthy. Um, so maybe give, give a couple examples so people can understand more. Or yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I, I want really uh, everyone to hear just how how incredible. I know before we started, you, you were just laughing and saying, "How much time do I have?" You could talk days and days about these topics. I just want to have people a little bit of a glimpse um, of everything that you're dealing with and just um, hear your expertise from a different perspective. So the doctor says that she can not only say, but she can show. So now she is uh, looking for the picture. Uh, we have the case when uh, under the male factor, patients had uh, genetic pathology uh, related to polycystic of kidneys. Uh, it is a genetic pathology when after 35 years old, uh, patients have uh, problems with uh, kidneys and they 
are uh, indicated to have transportation of kidney. So they contacted with the donors to provide a proper genetic transplantation screening for them. And we provided uh, all the necessary treatment for them and we got a healthy baby. So that's what we want to show. The complication of these cases was in the fact that actually women uh, had a very, very little uh, reserve of um, oocytes. And during two years, we provided a protocol to gather the quality oocytes of this woman and then to provide the quality pre-implantation screening on embryos. In total, we got, uh, after two years, we got six embryos, but three of them only were uh, satisfied to have genetic screening. And we, as we cooperate with America Institute of Genetics, we uh, uh, we asked for uh, primers to provide genetic screening, and we provide not only chromosome screening of uh, this embryo, but also gen diagnostic to avoid this kidney pathology for them. And as a result of uh, genetic screening, we uh, obtained one healthy embryo. We knew that uh, it is a girl. We provided embryo transfer to a woman and they got pregnant. And uh, uh, nine months after uh, embryo transfer, they got, uh, they born a baby. Uh, and uh, it was a girl. And now this girl is already four, she's four years old. And uh, they are very happy because they know that uh, their girl is healthy and she has no uh, pathology of kidneys. And what is the uh, complexity of this case is that uh, kidneys polycystic uh, genetic pathology is uh, gives 50% that uh, future generations will be sick. So mm. It's hard to diagnose, but uh, thanks to our work, thanks to our patients, uh, we got a success story and uh, we got a healthy child healthy daughter for our patients. And just doctor showed, uh, I mean, showed just uh, half of page to have confidentiality. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> it is a postcard from patients to the doctor. Thanksgiving card. Uh, well, thank you so much. And I, uh, congratulations to all of you, all of you on the team. And you know, earlier you said that the topic that you're always saying that there is no absolute infertility and that you really take any and all cases and it doesn't matter how complicated it is and you make it happen. Um, so thank you for everything that you do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.